Now, in the really early days, when I was experimenting and I was very excited about this whole receive idea, what could happen with it, as I said before, I was very much, uh, I had cultivated relationships that did not have reciprocity. So I was, you know, always helpful to people. Remember back in the day when there were answering machines so you could screen your calls? I was one of those people I'd screen my calls because I would be so exhausted from taking calls about people who wanted to talk about their problems. And so I was very charged up about this receive idea. There was, I was living in Philadelphia at the time. And there was a, I've had a friend who was, um, you know, not a best friend, but somebody that I had dinner with. Uh, we'd go out to events sometimes. And she, like a lot of my friends, would always, as soon as we got together, would start talking about, you know, her boyfriend or her job or this or that, and I would listen. But I was, I was just hell-bent on including myself and bringing my received principles into practice. So we were meeting for dinner one night. We parked our cars. We were walking to the restaurant. And, of course, just like always, because why would she think any differently, she was talking about the things that were going on in her life. So we got into the restaurant, <clears throat> we ordered dinner, we ordered a glass of wine, and then I started talking to her about um, that I've been really working on this receive idea. I really used I language and that I, was, I really wanted to change this. I wanted to make a point to include myself more in conversations. I definitely wanted to listen to her, but I really wanted to include myself as well. So I kind of made this announcement almost of kind of where I was. She listened to me, and when I was done talking, she put her coat on, she picked up her purse, and she walked out of the restaurant. Oh. Yes. I know, and I thought, oh. I know, I, I could feel my cheeks were just like, like, oh my goodness, what just happened? So I drank my wine, I drank her wine. <laughs> I ate my dinner. I put her dinner in a doggy bag because she didn't pay. She <laughs> made money on her way out the door. And I thought, I need to totally rethink my delivery with this. <laughs> because I thought, even as well-intentioned as I was, when I thought back, and by the way, I never saw her again. Oh, oh my gosh. Mm -hmm. I think so. Now, she wasn't, you know, she wasn't my best friend or anything, but still. <clears throat> but I thought, I, you know, from now on, I thought after that uh, experience, I thought, I'm simply going to begin including myself. So instead of kind of these big announcements, I'm just going to begin to shift the way I am in my relationships. And as I did that, some people fell to the wayside, and some people stepped forward, some people stayed, and I started meeting other people who had as much to give as I did, but I realized it wasn't because I was looking for more giving people, it was because I had begun to learn how to receive. And I have to, totally, over these years, realized receiving stimulates giving. Or a motto I have now is the only possible match for someone who doesn't know how to receive is someone who doesn't know how to give. And in that way, we find our, our perfect ratio.